So I'm really not going to waste all that food. In fact, I'm going to make a quick recipe since I have other food that, since I was ill, I have a lot of borderline food. And, um, well, onions stick around forever, but I need an onion for this recipe. I thought I had a red onion in there. I was pretty sure I did. I'll find it later. Red onions stick around longer than white onions, which is a nice thing. So, um, I'm going to, like, do a cut here like that because I'm going to get rid of uh, the seeds on the tomato. Well, yes. You get rid of some seeds in the tomato here. And um, so I was just going crazy doing that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to sell you a knife. It's okay. Kind of and going off about all these stupid knives that they'd be selling. And I'm just taking all the seeds out. And I don't like that meat, so I'm going to throw it away. I like that piece of meat right there. I kind of like, like that right there, too. And then, no seeds, no meat, bad hard meat. Get rid of it. You know, that's part of food is like, yeah, we can have a few. <laughs> or we could get real down to like, I want absolutely none, right? And we can, we can Julian this and we can make it look all pretty. Or we can just realize that this is food and it's in the home and part of the reason that food goes bad is we buy too much right we don't know what to do with it so um and we got lots of cucumbers coming in and stuff so i'm going to sh show you a quick throw together recipe hey y'all still got something stuck on your face i was going crazy man i was up in there with my knives y'all see all my knives all right my hands are all i can't even touch you all my knives are over there you can't see shit <laughs> Excuse my language. All right, so I'm just gonna julienne up the um, the or you know I'm doing a thin cut on them, but not too much. I don't want them to dissolve. I just want them to be red because what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a quick acid combination here with sugar and dill and onion and cucumber and it, it's a favorite of mine. Um, I think I have black olives in there. I could throw some olives in there. You'd rather have Kamala olives on. That would have a better flavor. Those cucumbers were so wet. I've got to find a way to get closer to my garbage. But hey, I got brand new sponges and I feel good about that. I feel good about being able to be, hey, cat, <laughs> get down. Get down. Not get up, get down. You got a big knife, move. <laughs> Get off the show. You're not allowed on the show. <laughs> they can't touch them. All right. Clean. You know I am about my board, guys. So if I'm going to do something on it, and that isn't my traditional knife, too. I'm going to get my, my baby back. My baby back, my baby back. I'm gonna get my baby back, my baby back. I'm gonna get my baby back. I'm gonna get her on the line. I'm gonna get my back, baby back. She's so divine. I'm gonna get my, gonna get my baby back. I miss her all the time. I miss my baby back, baby back. I miss my baby's back, my baby's back. All the time. I miss my baby back, baby back. I miss it, yeah. I miss my baby back. You know what I mean? It keeps me on track, keeps me on right. Keeps me soft and gentle through the night when I get my baby back, baby back. When I got my baby on track, when it's doing just right, we got some food coming out nice. When I got my baby back, when I got my baby back, we're gonna do some cooking in the night. We're gonna give her a little dill. Uh, and hope it turns out right. 
I got something sweet, I'm telling you, and it's a lot more on the way. I don't want to the door. All right, so I got rice vinegar, and I got apple cider vinegar, and um, I thought I had white vinegar, too. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, and I have... I have white vinegar, so I'm putting all this stuff in. The, but I have all this, so I might put a hint of something in there. Why not, right? So we're gonna go real simple, man. Oh, and oh, one more thing. Cause there is not flavor without fat. Get my baby, baby, baby. I gotta rub the oil in just right. Now, I'm gonna start out with liquids actually, so I'm gonna put a little. And it's actually a three to one, but you know, you go with what you got. You got a lot, of, a lot of liquid here. This is actually going to break down, and it's going to be better the next day. All right. And I don't know who I'm going to serve all this to, but somebody eating this. Hear, hear my shoes squeaking is like a real kitchen. I was going crazy with them knives, dude. I want to see all the knives on my hands clean. See all the knives I was going crazy with. I was like, yeah. Showing, look, telling you what the real deal is with knife. Look, I still got cucumber everywhere. <laughs> so, I, I threw out all the bad and I actually kept all the good. And this is what I'm getting out of it. So, even the ghetto gourmet can go crazy and not waste food. Ha <laughs> ha And make something out of it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, dill. All right. Um, that feels heavy. Uh, yeah, so we're going to do a little less than that. That was sugar. Uh, so maybe uh, um, uh, just a regular um, non-heaping tablespoon, maybe less. What, what, what do you want to do, apple or rice wine? I'm feeling apple. Let's smell it first. No, see, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, wouldn't work at all. Well, it would, it would, right, but I'd have to tweak it more. This, I have, I don't have to tweak as much. So I just want to add a, little, add a little bit of like extra something, right? If I added this, it has too much, it has too much overwhelming bouquet and power. And then I would have to work some kind of gentle oil acid. I already have to probably work just a little bit in because, all right, so I put all that in and then I'm a smart boy and get a spoon and stir it because um all right just the ghetto spoon don't buy spoons with plastic handles throw it all out that stuff's bad for you because nasty stuff gets up in the plastic wash your plastic at all times buy steel wood stainless steel so a lot of the knives i was showing you earlier were on um, my uh, cast iron steel and i'll show you how to take care of that stuff all right so i put on about two ounces of oil and then we're going to finish it off with now this is the interesting part. Something so simple as the molecule salt right now begins a reaction. And there's a reaction between the acid and the tomatoes and the sugar and the um, uh, cucumbers, if I'm getting this correctly. And so you can see it's already starting to like blah, 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 num, 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 num. And we're gonna put a little bit more salt in there. And then we're gonna shake all the white pepper we can out of this can here. And we're gonna work, 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 work. That can't work, that can't work, that can't. Yeah. <laughs> I done worked that can till it's gone. <laughs> I give me another can. I don't have more white pepper though, but we'll put a little black pepper in there. Alright, I can be gentle with this one. Just kid, yeah, I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back. I want her to taste just right. I want my baby back. Then we're gonna give it a little bit more of a stir. And we're gonna give it a little taste. Cause you gotta taste it before it marinates. Mm. Mm. Well, sweet. That's bubblegum sweet. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. No, yeah, um, hold up. I just went and like dumped out all that juice. 
starting with two ounces of oil again. I mean, an ounce. I didn't dump it all out. I dumped half of it out because it was just way too sweet. And now I'm souring it up. I'm doing what needs to be done because that was way too sweet. I could have made it work. It, were, it was working, actually, but I, I don't want food that sweet right now. I got sweet food in my house, and it's actually sweet food. And I want this to be a little working and a little sour. And let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. The intense attack. Mm-hmm. With the sour and sweet. Mm. Now, the only thing it needs, it has a dill over to undertone. I'd like the dill undertone to be a little stronger. Okay? And to help it get there, I'm going to use the high palate heat of black pepper. Okay? And then, oh, well, that's all I want. All right? And with that, and a little bit more salt. And right there, that's going to have this at the spice level. That's going to be like, woo! But also, with enough fat in there. And, and let's get the triple combination. Can I do it? Yep. Yeah. All right. I had to go choke for a second. <laughs> I won't even show you. Okay, that's all that I gotta say. There we go. Cucumber bread. With rice wine vinegar. Uh, I really don't want to talk too much right now, okay?